Barlow and welcome to Beach and Beyond. On today's show, we're going to be hearing from Rena Thaler up at the Art League, all the exciting programming that's going on up there. Also, Jackie from Secrets, Jamaica, USA, all the exciting things starting back up here as we head into spring. And of course, we're going to hear from Jessica with Ocean City, all the wonderful things going on at the Performing Arts Center and throughout town and throughout the county. So enjoy the show. Hi everybody, it is Brandon Dix with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development, Maryland's Coast. And today I'm standing in the beautiful Roland E. Powell Convention Center in Ocean City, Maryland. And we're going to be talking about an event that's coming up right around the corner. The OC Seaside Boat Show will be taking place here at the Convention Center February 17th through the 19th of 2023. If you're an outdoor water enthusiast, boat lover of any sort, you're not going to want to miss it. There's going to be over 350 boats to hop on and tour, 140 exhibitors to meet with and purchase items from, and 50 boat dealers that are here ready to sell you a boat for the upcoming season. The times are going to be taking place Friday and Saturday, 10 to 6 p.m., and Sunday, 10 to 4 p.m. The mission is going to be $10 per person or $1 for 14 years and younger. The event is brought to you by the Berlin and Ocean City Optimist Club. For more information, visit www.ocboatshow.com. Can't wait to see you here. Water damage can cause serious problems at your home or business. At Royal Plus, we have decades of experience serving commercial and residential properties. If your property has water damage, call Royal Plus at 866-404-7587. Hey everybody, welcome to the Art League of Ocean City and our beautiful home, mm -hmm. the Ocean City Center for the Arts. My name is Rena Thaler and I'm the Executive Director here and I am joined today by Art League President John mm -hmm. Sisson. And we're here to tell you why art matters this month and every month. Brought to you by our friends at the Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Indeed. So, John, <laughs> yes. welcome. And, Thank you. Um, this, I know, is a very special year for the Art League of Ocean City. Um, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, Rena. not only are we celebrating 60 years as an organization, as an integral part of the Ocean City community, but this is also the 10th anniversary of this beautiful Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. And I know there's some people that still have not been in to the Ocean City Center for the Arts, even though we're open every day, admission is always free, and there's so many great things going on. Tell us a little bit about what people well, could expect. I, I'll tell you what, first of all, this is a beautiful location on, on the water by the wetlands, and every month we change exhibits featuring uh, local artists, regional artists. It's there are classes you can take here, everything from beginner to expert. Just drop by any time, any day, and you'll be amazed. If, you, if it's your first time, I mean, first time I came here, I couldn't believe that a place like this was in Ocean City. Yep, so come in and see us here at the Ocean City Center for the Arts and check out all the great exhibits and classes happening. Um, this month, we're featuring Filters on the Edge. We have some great new studio artists that are here yes. in the building. Yes. Um, Studio E features an artwork by, artwork by Dijon McCarthy, who's a young Amazing. Salisbury University graduate um, in celebration of Black History Month. So lots of great things here at the Art Center. And also, we're going to talk to you a little bit more about one of our um, premier special events coming up, the Ocean City Film Festival. We're going to talk to Davis Mears about the, um, this year's film festival, March 2nd through 5th and uh, we'll give you a little shout out about yeah. that. But enjoy all the galleries and the classes here. Don't be a stranger. All right, so I'm joined here by uh, Davis Mears, who's our operations um, manager, director for the Ocean yeah. City Film Festival. <laughs> and uh, we have a great festival coming up March 2nd through 5th. But Davis, tell people a little bit about what is a film festival, first of all. What could they expect if they come to the Ocean City Film Festival? Well, first off, it's one of my favorite weekends of the year, so you, you can't miss it. But um, really, the best part about the film festival is getting to see a ton of independent films across a ton of different venues in town. And they're not just local films or even regional. It's films from all over the world. 
and the best part too is being able to interact with the filmmakers. Uh, you, there's a Q and A session after uh, every showcase, mm -hmm. and getting to talk to them is really inspiring and really insightful into what they were thinking when they were making their film. So the festival starts on Thursday night, yes. and it begins with a big premiere at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center, beautiful venue, and we're going to screen two films that have local um, content. Yeah, we're going to screen Hedgehog by Unseen Productions, which is a film about uh, the Ukraine war that was filmed last year, and again, Unseen Productions local uh, company here. And it was really filmed in Berlin, Maryland, yeah, exactly. which is so cool, and it looks like Ukraine, right? It that, does, that's the yeah, cool part which is crazy. It. And then uh, Return to the Biggest Little Farm, John Chester, who's an Ocean City local, who uh, got made it big and uh, has a film now with Nat Geo and Disney Plus. Uh -huh. So uh, we're going to be screening his film, and yeah, there's so a that's big on Thursday Ocean City night. Lake. And then, of course, every day of the festival, there's parties and after parties yeah. and networking opportunities, and people can buy a pass, a one-day pass, or a four-day festival pass. And all of the parties, all of the happy hours, everything mm -hmm. is included in that pass. So some of the venues and places that they can. Um, find these parties. Tell us a little about like what happens at a festival other than just seeing a movie. Yeah, I mean, well, you just get to mingle with all of the filmmakers and other festival goers. You know, go talk about your favorite movie over a couple of drinks at the casino. And, mm -hmm. and that's really uh, one of, the, one of the, the thing that separates it from just going to the theater and watching a movie. I mean, you get to really interact with people and, and spend the whole weekend enjoying some independent films and, and really enjoying the, the art of filmmaking. Uh, yeah, I love that this year the film festival is broken down by category, like into showcases. Mm -hmm. So there are some films about perseverance and how people have overcome struggles. Um, mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of different categories and, and so people can select showcases that they want to see. They can pull out individual films and, and pick those. Mm -hmm. They can pick out venues. Like we have venues where you can watch a film in a traditional theater, but you can also watch it at a place like Secrets um, mm -hmm. and, and just sit there and have a drink and have something to eat. and and watch the films as well. So that's kind of cool and different for um, the festival too. Yeah. And what? then of course, the big Saturday night headliner. Um, this year, the Ocean City Film Festival will be hosting the iconic f filmmaker of the world. Yeah, John Waters uh, out of Baltimore. Uh -huh. And we're gonna be, he's gonna do his spoken word show. Mm -hmm. um, and that's gonna be, a, I mean, a headline ticketed event. I mean, that's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. And for folks that wanna get a room and stay in town during the festival, we have five different hotels that are partnering with the festival, offering special rates that you can, you know, come and just enjoy the whole time and, and stay over in town, mm -hmm. a nice off, uh, season weekend. So March 2nd through 5th, mark your calendars, Ocean City Film Festival, ocmdfilmfestival.com. Yeah. All right, Davis, we'll see you at the uh, movies. Yes, right? yes. Have Hope to see everybody ready? there. Oh, All right. Yeah. See you then. Sign up and win up to a cool 500 and free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah. Real and big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Whether you're seeking serenity or activities, Ocean Pines has amenities for you. Our pools, marinas, racket sports complex, restaurants, and championship golf course are all open to the public. Our nature trails are perfect for that peaceful stroll or as a part of your daily exercise routine. Keep your eyes open for wildlife, especially around our beautiful ponds. Welcome to Ocean Pines. Welcome to Secrets Jamaica, USA. We are open at 4 p.m. on Thursday and Friday and at 11 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Enjoy lunch or dinner in our tropical indoor dining areas overlooking the bay. We have happy hour from 4 to 7 and great dinner specials on Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Enjoy a night out with live entertainment Thursday, Friday, or Saturday night. Watch the super big game on February 12th as Philadelphia takes on Kansas City on the jumbo screen with stadium sound.
The club opens at five with drink specials and half price jerk chicken, steamed shrimp, baby back ribs, and cheese steaks throughout the game. Our second annual Kraft Mac and Cheers Pig Roast and Beer Fest will take place on Saturday, April 1st. Tickets are $49 and include beer from Dogfish Head and Evolution Brewing, a pig roast, six varieties of mac and cheese, live music, and a souvenir pint glass. Check out all the live music and special events at secrets.com. Our team at Secrets Distillery has been working on some new spirits. The latest limited release is the chocolate bumbleberry, made from Secrets award-winning bumbleberry vodka and infused with roasted cacao beans from Ghana. It's the perfect dessert spirit. Distillery tours are available on Saturdays from 11 to 5. See how we make our spirits and learn about the Prohibition era with over a million dollars of antiques from the 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make your reservations at secretsdistilling.com. The new Atlantic Beverage Center is open. Located at 51st Street in the new Area 51 building with over 3,500 square feet, the ABC offers a wide selection of spirits. Ask our staff about the local craft beer and wine as well as rare sought after products. Plus, all of the handcrafted Secret Spirits line is available. Stop in from two to five and take 10% off everything in the store. Also, make sure you take advantage of the Secrets Distilling Bottle Buyback Program. Bring in an empty bottle of Secret Spirits and get $2 off your next Secret Spirits purchase. We hope to see you soon at Secrets, Secrets Distillery, or the ABC store. Find us and get lost. Visit Secrets Jamaica, USA, where it feels like the tropics all year long. Enjoy delicious happy hour drink specials from 4 to 7 and nightly food specials Thursday and Sunday. Then get ready for the perfect night out. Home to the Morley Hall Nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Secrets, 49th Street and the Bay, Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. This is my 10th season working for this company. It's nice being right next to the beach. It's nice to meet a lot of new people. You get to meet people from all over the place with the different visa programs that we do. The customers can be really great and sometimes you'll have the same people that come back year after year. So you get to get familiar with them and watch their kids grow up and that's a lot of fun too. It is a seasonal job. So you know you can work through the summer, save some money up. So come on in, apply, give us a shot. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development here on Maryland's coast. And I have with me today Jessica Waters, who Hi. is the Director of Communications and Marketing for the Town of Ocean City. <laughs> and we are at the beautiful Convention Center uh, with a wonderful backdrop of our new Ocean City brand. Uh, no, somewhere to smile excited. about. So we're really thrilled about that and we're looking forward to see some of that creative come out. Coming. Um, but here we are. Um, it might be a little bit cold out and it might be in the winter, <laughs> but still lots going on here in Ocean City. So Jess, tell us a little bit about what's going on uh, throughout the next couple of months. Well, we are busy. I know it doesn't seem that way when you drive through Ocean City, especially during the weekdays, it might feel like a sleepy beach town, but we are rocking and rolling, especially uh, through March. We have a really great lineup of events here at the Convention Center and our Performing Arts Center. Uh, the one that I'm the most excited about personally is uh, March 10th when we welcome uh, Mark Roberge from OAR Yay! and John Lampley, who if you don't know John Lampley and Mark Roberge, you've really got to check them out. Uh, John Lampley is a very talented musician. He's known for his trumpet playing. He plays on the Stephen Colbert show with their house band. 
an absolutely fantastic musician. So they're coming to kick off our St. Patrick's Day weekend on the 10th and then the 11th we have the St. Patrick's Day parade. The parade. And I can promise you whether you're Irish or not, you're going to want to be here <laughs> in Ocean City. It's one of the biggest parades. I, I think it's actually the largest St. Patrick's Day parade in, the, in, in Maryland. In the state of Maryland, yes. Um, so you're going to make, make sure you don't want to miss that. Now for those that have little kids at home, um, those parents that have toddlers and, and elementary school kids, we are actually welcoming you Blippi. Um, oh. Blippi is, is doing really well in terms of ticket sales, so if you haven't bought your tickets to Blimpy, make sure you do that soon. And then we have R-E-S-P-E-C-T, which is a tribute to Aretha Franklin. It looks amazing. amazing. Uh, get online, check out the promo video. The talent of these performers is absolutely incredible, and that's taking place toward the end of March. And then we're rounding out at the Performing Arts Center on April 1st with Louis Black. So those of you that like comedy, you're going to want to make sure you get those tickets because he's hilarious. Yeah, and such a variety. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you, the programming here has just been fantastic. And uh, there's about, what, 1,200 seats at the Performing Arts yep. Center, um, variable ticket sales, all, you know, all prices, all ages. So we're, we're thrilled to see all the activity here. Um, another big thing coming up in March from the second to the fifth is the OC Film Festival. Yeah. Um, so that wait. is our seventh annual OC Film Festival. I remember the first year and we were like, wow, this is really great. And it's really blossomed exponentially. Yeah. This year we have John Waters, Maryland's own John Waters of Hairspray, Crybaby, you know, you name it. Um, so we're really thrilled to have him. Actually, Saturday evening, he's going to be over at Ocean Downs Casino. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to go and see him do his performance. Um, the thing with the film festival, it's throughout town. Yeah. So it could be at a hotel. It could be at the flagship theater. It could be at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So um, really go check it out with OC Film filmfestival.com uh, and, and see all the variety of things that we have here in Ocean City. And, you know, like Jessica said, here we are. It might be winter, but we don't stop. So. No, we don't stop. And I can tell you, this is the time now to have a little winter getaway. The hotels have incredible deals. Yes. So get online, look at those deals. You can get a stay for much less than you can in the summertime months. The ocean is still just as beautiful to look at this time of year as it is in the summertime. Yeah, and I will say with Maryland weather, we kind of joke about it. <laughs> That's true. You never know. You might have 60 degrees one day. You might have a little yeah. bit of snow flurries the next day, and it's really just all spectacular. And, and, and I have to say, the sun, the sunrises and the sunsets this time of year, it's really unbelievable. So even just to come to enjoy, you know, enjoy the natural beauty, you know, take a hike on Assateague, even oh explore the county, walk go to the, the, the state walk, parks, walk the boardwalk, and um, yeah, ride bikes. You know, mm -hmm. you can bring your pets out. So Really, this is a fantastic time of year to enjoy Ocean City um, and the mm -hmm. entire region here on Maryland's coast. And for more information for all of these great events, where do we go, Jess? You want to head over to OCOcean.com. Um, we have our events listed there. We also have um, hotel deals, restaurant specials. Um, all the information when it comes to Ocean City can be found right there on OCOcean.com. Sounds good. Come out and see us. Sign up and win up to a cool 500 and free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah. Real in big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Windsor Tech Furniture of Thumbuck Island offers the world's best deep seating furniture. Sectionals, buy any piece you want and design your own set, combining premium teak and five inch thick umbrella cushions with over 70 colors to choose from. Pull out sofa beds, a Windsor exclusive. Luxurious sun lounges, the ultimate in relaxation. Storage boxes for cushions, swivel chairs, and more. Drop by your showroom and smell the teak or visit our website. And remember, teak lasts a lifetime. Hi, my name is Nick. My name is Manny Vera. My name is Baby. My name is Sierra Benjamin. My name is Katie Knapp. I'm a cashier supervisor here. I enjoy working here because it's kind of just another family. Schedule's super flexible and on days off, if you work hard, you get to enjoy the park. I'm responsible for making sure everybody gets a lunch break. Um, everybody's rotating at a timely manner. I'm also in charge of the customers, so first aid if anybody gets hurt. What I like most about the job is how understanding everyone is, especially um, my work peers. Hey, my name is Lexi. I am the office manager at Jolly Roger at the Pier, which means I'm in charge of ticket sellers and guest services. I started here when I was 16 years old. This is my 10th season working for this company. 
I started out as a ticket seller, spent a couple of years on the rides, and then I've been in management since then. It's nice to meet a lot of new people. You get to meet people from all over the place with the different visa programs that we do. The customers can be really great, and sometimes you'll have the same people that come back year after year, so you get to get familiar with them and watch their kids grow up, and that's a lot of fun, too. You can work a lot of hours if you want to. But working in downtown Ocean City is great. There's tons of things to do down here. You can go to the beach. Um, there's tons of different restaurants, different types of food, bunch of shops around where, that you could go to on your break or before or after work. I work the Speedwell. This is a happy place to work at. Manager here at Speed World. I did work down at the pier for 10 years previous to this. Uh, there's really nothing like it. They may be go-karts, but these are real races. The adrenaline rush is real. The, the camaraderie here, the friendships you make here will last a lifetime. You will never forget this place. I work the water gun game here at Jolly Rogers. I've worked here for two summers. I enjoy working here because I meet lots of new people. It's fun, I work on the beach. If you're young, it's a great job to start at. I take care of you. Hi there, my name is Dean Langrell and uh, I've been here at Jolly Rogers for 12 years. I started in 2010. Um, I'm currently retired, but uh, came back uh, a couple of years ago working part-time. If you're an older citizen or maybe a senior citizen like myself, come on by. We'd love to offer you uh, some type of job. It's a big park. It's 35 and a half acres. We also have the rides down at the pier that go out into the Atlantic Ocean. There's a lot of things to do, a lot of jobs to choose from. Stop by. It's a great job. Jolly Rogers is known for being one of the best places in Ocean City to work. Jolly Rogers genuinely has some of the greatest people working for them and with them. Sophia's Italian restaurant in Ocean City serves lunch and dinner with specialty dishes prepared by our chef Salvatore. Homemade delectable dishes like carry out, delivery, or dine in. Sophia's Italian restaurant. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. And I have a guest with me today, Ms. Ivy Wells. How Hello. are you, Ivy? I'm good. She is the Director of Economic and Community Development for the town of Berlin, one of the gems here on Maryland's coast in Worcester County. And we are at a really unique location today we in are. front of Oxford Studios. And so we're going to talk all things art. The arts are alive in Worcester County and especially in Berlin. in Berlin. So what's going on, Ivy? So we are a designated arts and entertainment district. And what that means is we have a variety of public art. We've got a, a ton of live music venues here. We have right behind us glass blowing studio, Jeff Oxford Designs, uh, another glass blowing studio, Beach Memories. We've got a historical mural. We've got a fun mural and we have an interactive mural. Oh, wow. And one of our newest and most prominent murals here in Berlin is the Reverend Charles Albert Tindley. We were just recently there for the unveiling, and that is just such a spectacular sight. So kind of how did that come about, and what is the significance Sure. There? Well, what people don't realize is that Reverend Tindley was born here in Berlin. He became famous as the godfather of gospel music, and, and we needed to celebrate that. We mm -hmm. needed to showcase who Reverend Tindley was, and we dedicated an entire wall to him. Um, a local musician wrote a song about him and it, it's a really special project. We feel very fortunate to be able to work on that. Yeah, and, and at the unveiling I know the family was here and it was just such a moving and special time for the residents of Berlin and then all the visitors that come here and, and experience that mural. So it just it, it was a really great opportunity to showcase somebody who meant so much to Berlin and we, we decided to own that he was born here, and I think not Philadelphia, right? <laughs> right, right. He was Berlin born, 
And the interesting thing about the mural is that everyone got to watch the artist paint the mural while mm -hmm. it was going on, and that was just spectacular. And it looks like that that wall on Bruder Hill it was made for that mural. Yeah. And I know there was a lot of discussion of where does it go, and a lot of work went into it, and so I think it just turned out perfectly. Yeah, so. it was a beautiful mural. And I know that the Beach to Bay Heritage Area uh, really was instrumental in making that happen, and we were kind of a part of that whole initiative, and so yes. with tourism and economic development, so it's really exciting to see something like that come alive. And, you know, speaking of the arts, you know, you can come and experience that in Berlin, but also, how about the dining? So we have become a culinary destination with a variety of restaurants, bake shops, we have a chocolatier here, ice cream. You can never go hungry in Berlin. Yeah, and, and every time you come, it's a different experience. Completely, sure. completely different every time. And, you know, people like to get ice cream. They walk around at night. They enjoy the beautiful art. Um, the other thing about our downtown shops is that they feature local art in their shops. Mm -hmm. And many of these, many of the artists like to showcase their work in our downtown shops. And the Worcester County Arts Council is right here in Berlin. And so you can go in there, you can become a part of that organization, and you can display your art in there. Absolutely. And, and during the farmer's market, uh, the Worcester County Arts Council opens up early, and many of the shops opens early, too. And the other cool thing is being able to create your own art. I know here at the Glass Blowing Studio, that's a big thing around the holidays. You can create your own ornaments. So you can really be a part of the arts on any level here in Berlin. And for more information, where do people go, Ivy? You can go to BerlinMainStreet.com or specifically about our arts district, you can go to BerlinArtsDistrict.com. Great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Hi, it's Todd from Park Place Jewelers. We would love to help you celebrate all those special moments and occasions in your life. A new engagement, or an anniversary celebration, an incredible accomplishment, a cherished moment, a lifelong memory, landmark occasions, or a treat yourself present. So let Park Place Jewelers put a sparkle in your life with a gift of fine jewelry. Well, we hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to tune in every Sunday at 10 a.m. for Beach and Beyond on WMDT.